Well, it's been less than a week since seven tornadoes moved through Middle Tennessee, killing more than 20 people and leaving hundreds of others hurt. And now comes the effort to recover and provide relief. Meteorologist Chris Michaels is in Cookville, Tennessee, and met up with people from our area who are lending helping hand. Chris? Guys, good evening. Yeah, this is where the EF4 touched down in Cookville, Tennessee, unfortunately resulting in loss of property and life. But despite the devastating blow they've been dealt, folks here in Tennessee are very happy with the amount of volunteer work that's been going on. There's a reason why Tennessee is known as the volunteer state. That also includes organizations like from our area, Gleaning for the World from Lynchburg. We met up with Gleaning's manager for disaster relief earlier today, who took us to this hardest hit area. Here's what he had to say. Gleaning has already collected a drive in our local Sam's and we are sending a truckload, our first truckload. Our supplies will go to the Cokeville Community Center uh, where they'll be distributed from there. All right, we also want to mention that Tommy Houston, the owner from the Checkered Pig in Martinsville, is in Nashville feeding victims and first responders. We're hoping to catch up with him tomorrow. But while on site, St. John introduced us to a gentleman who found his uh, medals from when he served in Vietnam in his neighbor's crawl space. He said those neighbors actually had pictures of theirs found in Knoxville, Tennessee. To give you perspective, guys, that's 100 miles to the east. Coming up tonight at 6, we're going to give you a tour of the damage. We've spoken to so many people over the course of the day and we'll also share you the one piece of advice they have for us moving forward as severe weather awareness week in Virginia starts next week. Reporting live in Cookville, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Chris Michaels, 10 News, working for you. Yeah, Chris, I'm curious. These tornadoes came through in the evening after the sun went down. We always kind of think about the energy from the sun and the, and the heat. How rare is it to have a tornado this strong hit at night? You know, John, that's a good question. You know, a lot of times you don't hear about these strong tornadoes hitting at night, but Tennessee actually stands out in the country. They are number one for nighttime tornadoes. In fact, 46% of tornadoes that touch down in Tennessee happen at night, whereas in Virginia, that number is 21%. These images here in the screen behind us of devastation from across Middle Tennessee have now become everyday life for the people who live there. Unbelievable devastation. 24 people are dead. Hundreds of homes destroyed or damaged and countless lives forever changed. Meteorologist Chris Michaels joins us from Cookville tonight in Tennessee. Of course, they saw the uh, brunt of last week's tornadoes. Chris. So, Chris, you've seen damaging storms before. How does this compare with what you've seen in the past? Yeah, I've, I've never seen anything like this, guys. And I mean, it's kind of to be expected that uh, we come up to this when we hear that it's an EF4 tornado and that it's caused all the damage that it has done. Uh, but we've been here for the past uh, 12 hours or so, and we've seen nothing but people volunteering. But we have seen a lot of damage here, and you can kind of see just complete houses leveled this whole neighborhood really taking the brunt of the hit here and uh, no matter who we speak to they say have a way to get warnings especially when these storms happen at night we had one gentleman who said that his dog actually woke them up it was at that point that he saw the warnings on his phone and then at that point they proceeded to take action the one room that he and his family went to that was the one room that was left standing in their home and they actually used the lightning strikes the lightning flashes to get their way out of the rubble. They said that their neighbors were actually waking up in their other neighbors' yards because the tornado had actually flung them that far. But the reason why they say it's most important to get their warnings at night is because of how frequently they see these storms at night. 46% of tornadoes that touch down in Tennessee happen at night. That number lesser for us in Virginia at 21%. But you might be asking, why are we here the week after? Well, it just so turns out that Virginia Severe Weather Awareness Week is next week. So tomorrow morning, we're visiting with the National Weather Service in Nashville to see a few ways as to how they gather the forecast data that we eventually put out to you guys, and also trying to see if there's a shift in tornado activity to the east, and if that shift is coming this far to Virginia. We'll be gathering those stories and We'll be airing those next week on 10 News. Live in Cookville, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Chris Michaels. 10 News, working for you.